What's up everybody? The weekend is almost here and we are back with another video. Percy PA, here we come. All right, folks, we made it to Hershey, Pennsylvania. It is almost 1230 and our hotel room is not ready. It won't be ready till about 4 p.m. So what we're going to do is get something to eat, right? I'm sure you all guessed that by now. <laughs> yep, we're going to have something to eat. And then we're going to head over to the show right after that. And we'll check in sometime later on tonight. So come on with us. Just that's all good. It's all right. All right, brother. What do you say? How you doing? Good, good, good. What time did y'all leave? Last night. From Virginia? Five from Yeah. We are here with George and Melinda from the campground. Hey. 
Is this your first time at the show? Yes, it is. All right. Yes, it is. Ours too, of course. <laughs> Let's go see what's happening. All righty. <laughs> All right, where did y'all want to start? Or where did y'all look at? We y'all, what have y'all looked at already? We did the keystones. You did the keystones already? Thank you. Thank you. Let's find the map. Oh, we can go through here. So this is the River Ranch by Columbus. This is the F392 MB. This has the more ride step system with the Columbus logo. This is the River Ranch. Step up, step into two more steps, and you come into the kitchen area with the Samsung double door refrigerator and freezer. Pantry area. More storage. You've got the kitchen island with the new four burner insignia stovetop. And stove, Samsung microwave, some more storage, a little storage area here, and another one here. Connex looks like a 50 inch TV with the JBL sound system with subwoofer. 40 inch Furion fireplace. Huge, huge pull out couch. The storage up above. We have someone sitting down relaxing. Break time. <laughs> with the Allure furniture, reclining seats, lighted. USB. There is no carpet here in the front. Dining room table, and I'm sure there are two chairs toward the back. You have the gate that comes out so that kids or pets don't fall out. This closes up while you're inside. This is a mid bunk unit with a top bunk, fold out couch, plenty of storage up top. Some more storage down here. You have your ladder to get to the top bunk and a little desk area. Let's go toward the back and see what's there. What's unique about this you know, couch is everything is on one floor. We've got some additional storage right here. Little shoe cubby area, if you like more room for maybe a pantry but definitely extra storage let's check out the bathroom medicine cabinet nice solid countertop 
porcelain toilet. Very nice shower with the teak seat that's able to hold about 300 pounds. You got storage here for your toiletries or what have you. Only thing is there are no hooks, no place to put towels other than right here. Okay. Here you have the master bedroom. King size bed with headboard, reading lights toward the back, two little small shelves for maybe your cell phone. Got a nice size closet with bar for hanging your clothes, shoe area. Also have another area for a washer and dryer if you like, or for more storage for clothes. This is where your generator set is for your own end generator. This unit also comes with the lowering lowerator TV. Electrical outlets with USB, some storage. And this also has the fireplace in the master bedroom. A very nice unit. What's unique about this unit is the air conditioner is down underneath, which makes this unit have one single floor from front to back. I believe this has a whisper quiet unit. It's very, very cool in here and you can barely hear anything. And they've got the bedroom ceiling fan going at the same time. Underneath, we have storage. Looks like lots and lots of storage under here. Oh yeah, plenty, plenty of storage. Frameless windows, white awning with lights, your outdoor speakers, along with an electrical outlet. This unit has so much storage, it is ridiculous. Here is more. This unit is wired for solar if you like hook up a TV in this area as well. Your ladder leading up to your roof. Furion backup camera if you like. And of course, more storage. LED lighting, 50 amp connection. And this is where your air conditioning unit is. This has the six point level up system. Suburban water heater. valves for your black tanks and gray tanks and this is the other side of your storage and you have your 30 pound propane tank the pin box is a Kurt flex air with the shock very nice system.
Also front storage with batteries and an area if you want to hook up a generator. This is the River Ranch by Columbus F392MB. Very nice unit. All right, so here we have a Heartland Landmark. It's my next landmark that I'm buying today. <laughs> Very nice front cap. Has the Moride pin box. Storage underneath. Hydraulic leveling system, and also your inverter. Two storage areas here. Coming around to this side, of course, we will see propane tank. Lots of storage underneath. Your area for your dry camping, any type of camping you wanna do, set for your city water, tank fill, filter, outdoor shower. This is also sitting on the Morai suspension system. We have the power cord for your 50 amp service. And it's a little tight back here, we can't see, but it has the rear that looks like the motorhome type of rear. Let's walk around to the other side. On your campsite, you have your awning and another awning on the slide. Your second propane tank. LCI system. This unit comes with two batteries. Right now this is working off the first battery. You can connect your TV to it. Lots of storage space down below. Lights on the awning. This comes with an outdoor TV and speaker system. Let's take a look on the inside. Very, very nice interior. Starting with the dining room table for two. Looks like it pulls out You can with an extension. Nice accent lighting. Great leather balances. MCD shades. Plenty, plenty of light coming in on those beautiful camping days. You've got the Landmark Collection furniture. Your power folding. Your couch in the back. This comes with the coffee table that also lifts up for extra storage. The 30 inch Furion fireplace with a Jensen sound system with two speakers. Very, very large. Television, storage up above, a lot of storage there. And then it also has some secret storage behind the TV with a safe.
coming over to the kitchen area. We've got a beautiful lit backsplash with stove top, lots of storage. Insignia microwave. Still lots and lots of storage to put your things. Very nice solid countertop. Barn style sink. And a dishwasher. What's very unique about this unit, you've got a double stack electric oven. Something I've never seen before. It's very, very nice. We've got the Insignia residential refrigerator. This unit comes with a very nice half bath. Nice size sink for a half bath. Medicine cabinet with storage. Oh, that's lovely. Two turkeys. Yes. Yeah, great. Your in command system to operate your slides. What's your favorite dish to cook? Going up into the master suite. We've got the motorhome style bed. Accent lighting above the bed. Charging ports for your cell phones. USB. Barn style door. Oh, Storage. Oh, little seating area that still has more storage in it summit brand TV in the bedroom more storage and then we have a barn style door that goes into the master bathroom this is a very nice master bathroom very nice shower with the teak seat. This is a genuine walk-in closet with the Dyson vacuum. Storage for shoes, hats, and so forth. Got a nice extra window inside the master bathroom and of course washer and dryer prep with the washer and dryer already inside this is a fantastic unit folks that you have to see it is a landmark brand by Hartland Normally, these units come with full body paint, but the sales rep told us that this one is one of the only models that doesn't have full body paint, but it does have the gel coat, which is very, very shiny. All right, folks, that was our first day here at the Hershey RV show. What do you think, honey? Well, mm, the landmarks, <laughs> blew my mind that's all I've been able to think about since I left now I haven't made it over to the Alliance yet we're going to go check them out tomorrow yes but the landmark uh, fifth wheels were beautiful yes a little on the expensive side but 
It looks like you get quality materials on the inside. It looks like you get what you pay for. Absolutely. And there was a lot of people there. I mean, yep. a lot. And today's just Thursday. Yep. So I hear a lot more people come on Saturday. If there's more people on Saturday than it was today, my little feet is going to be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have made it to the show. We've made it to our hotel room. We've got a nice little hotel suite. We are just relaxing right now. Probably going to sit back for a little bit and then go get something to eat with some of our friends uh, and enjoy the rest of the evening. So that is just day one. Day two and day three will be coming really, really soon. So we hope you like this video. If you do, hit that like button. If you like our content, hit that subscribe button and be sure to stay with us for our next video here at the Hershey RV Show. And Patty, it was great to see you today. Yes. Joanne, I can't wait to meet you finally on Saturday. Yes. <laughs> All right, folks. Anything else, babe? Nope, that's it. All right. Well, as we normally say, here's hoping that you have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. All right, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye-bye.